This is your wrap up of cable news for the last 48 hours. Yesterday, they spent three hours filming a plane sitting on a runway waiting for Donald Trump to fly to New York and talking about his case all day. Then they spent the evening discussing whether or not the judge would in put in a gag order not allowing Trump or the lawyers to talk about the case. Guess what? The judge didn't. But again, the media had to spend hours talking about what if he does. During that time, thousands of children had marched in Tennessee about gun violence and the Tennessee legislature's only action so far has been to expel three members of the Democratic Party from the Tennessee House. Also last night, at the same exact time, the leader of the Democratic Party in Florida was arrested by Ron DeSantis because they banned protesting outside of the state capitol after sunset. That's right, in Florida, the First Amendment no longer matters after sunset. Did we get wall-to-wall -wall coverage of this in the morning? No, because again, cable news had to cover Donald fucking Trump's arraignment. What did they do? Oh my God, look at all the protesters outside of the courthouse. There's so many protesters. I didn't see many protesters outside the courthouse because there were over 600 reporters with cameras running up to every random yokel that you've ever fucking seen in a red hat or random people on the other side blowing whistles. There were six to one reporters to protesters out there and then a thousand cops on top of that. It was just another day in New York. This could have easily been the same amount of people who were out there trying to get the new iPhone. It's the same line. Then, then the media had to spend the rest of the day filming doorways. That's right, doorways. Here's the doorway to the courthouse. Will Donald Trump walk through this doorway? Oh look, he walked through the doorway. Now he's in the courtroom. Oh, well we're not allowed to be in the courtroom, so we're gonna spend over two hours pretending like we know what the fuck is happening in the courtroom. That's right, two hours. During that time, did the corporate media of America talk about the fact that the former governor of Maryland's chief of staff got into a shootout with the FBI after he's been on the lam for over a month for embezzling over $230,000 from Maryland? No, because we had to cut away to see Donald Trump's motorcade get stuck in fucking traffic by a helicopter camera. This is what, again, all they care about is a return for shareholders through the revenue of advertising and not giving us actual news.